Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Y'all, Memorial Day is Monday. I was like, girl, I need to do the wreath so, um, to put on my door. So I wanted to knock this out, right, and show you guys and do it with you. Um, I am not the best, I don't know, crafter, right? But um, I can make a simple wreath. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Remember I grabbed the two pack, the small Girl, this thing is so tiny. I have big doors, like big front doors, double doors at that. So this wasn't going to work out. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. But let me put that to the side. I got the regular size one I grabbed, right? Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into these wreaths. Um, I'll probably start voicing over so that I can kind of do it and get it done. All right, you guys. So I got... <laughs> all the stuff I need right here. Um, you only need three things really to make a very simple wreath. The deco mesh, right? Some scissors to cut it and the ring. That's all you need. So I hope, one, two, if I do, that's not going to be enough. I'm already seeing, I got to talk myself, you know, through it. Um, four and four. Girl, I wanted to double it, but if I double it, it's not going to go around the whole wreath. I need, I think I need six the way that I want to do it. So I'm going to do it. I'm just not going to do it the way I want it to. You follow me? You got me, y'all. All right, I'm going to start. I'm going to bring you down a little bit so that you can see the brain. All right, guys, you see me throwing all the wrappers on the floor, right? <laughs> I don't know why I do that because I have to clean it up. But you see, I got four rolls. I am um, thinking about whether I want to put them together, which is what I would normally do to make it like really puffy. But if I do that, I'm not going to be able to make the two wreaths right i won't have enough deco mesh so i'm gonna do the same technique um i'm gonna tie a knot with the inner ring girl you see me? i'm dropping stuff i tied a knot around the inner ring and then i'm just gonna make a loop pull it through you see right pull it through i'm holding it i'm holding the loops and then I'm pulling it through. So now I have three loops for the three circles, right? I'm doing a little twist, twist, right? Twisting it a little bit, and boom. Starting the next row of loops. And I continue this until it runs out. So you can make the loops as big as you want or as small as you want. I like them kind of around... I like my wreaths poofy, so um, here I go at the end twisting again. So what I am doing is, if I were to double it like I was in the beginning, I will only do two rows of three, but because I want that poof look and I can't double it, I'm doing three rows of three which will make it a little more puffy in that section. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I'm doing, puffing it out a little bit. I'll kind of separate it. I'm showing you guys how I got one, two, three. And I'll separate it. Oh, my, something must have, the mesh must have got caught in my ring. So now, you know, that was sectioned off. So now I'm into the second part of the ring, if that makes any sense. I'm at the end, right? At the end now, going to cut that. Girl, on the floor. <laughs> I cut that right and I'm going to tie it. Boom. Tie that real tight. Um, as tight as I can. As tight as I can. <laughs> as tight as I can and I'm cutting that excess off, right? Boom. On the floor. So you see, I tied the knot. 
so insecure puffing it out a teeny bit not too much so I'm trying to look to see where I started and I'm going to do the exact same thing but I'm looking at this and this one was like all jacked up so let me grab another one okay yeah so I'm twisting I'm tying where I left off another knot tight tighter and tighter y'all what's that from <laughs> oh my goodness that's from me in manhattan when that chick was doing that exercise with that hula hoop <laughs> um but i'm starting i'm always quoting some darn movie or something um so yeah doing the same exact thing all the way around right um oh my goodness i'm I'm so excited about this. I do love doing wreaths and I don't know why I don't do them more often because it is, it's really simple to do and it doesn't take that long. I just, I don't know, girl. I'm already at the end of this one. Wow. Okay. So, girl, I'll be making them knots tight. It is nothing coming apart in, on this wreath. Mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all, I'm all excited. Like, yes. You see what I got so far? All right. Cleaning that up a little bit. All right. So, I'm looking again, seeing what's what, right? Starting that, still going all the way around. I think. I ended up with um, four. I think I used four um, to like complete the wreath. And like I said, I did three rows of three. And yeah, I'm just almost at the end now, which is pretty good. Quick and fast. I know a pair of scissors, the deco mesh, and a 14 inch ring from the Dollar Tree girl. Yes. And I loved, I'm so happy I got the red, white, and blue together because I would have had to overlap. And that's a little harder because you have to keep all the mesh together, put it through, bring it back. It's a little, it's a little more challenging for me. But um, this was perfect. So I love when, you know, the colors are together. Like the, um... The buffalo check right yeah so the candy corn you know what i mean so things like that it's like perfect but am i at the end i think i'm getting to the end you guys yeah i'm rolling that last little bit mm -hmm. gotta cut that cut that right on up yes i'm gonna make this last I feel like this last little loop and tie tight, right? Get that around. Am I having trouble? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just trying to get it straight, right? Yay, girl, look. I'm all smiling at my creation. So I'm just basically pulling apart um, the three rows of three, you know what I mean? And just trying to fluff it out a little more. When I hold it up, my circle in the middle is not big. It's, it's like medium size, which is perfect. So I'm so excited. Wait till you see what I did with it. So here we go, you guys. It is so perfect and poofy. I love the way it came out. And it looks so nice up here. So remember the Nomis that I grabbed, right? The welcome. Here's the other wreath right here. This is the one I made. Girl, I'm in the bed. I'm supposed to be going to sleep. I'm up making wreaths. I posted it on Instagram. <laughs> this one right here, the USA with the dynamite, right? Same. Perfect. I did them the exact same way. So, you know how some people use their hot glue guns to, like, put things onto the wreath to make sure they stick or whatever? This you know these signs have that string so you can hang them so i wrapped the string around the door hanger up here and then i tucked the nomi into the reef girl this thing is so secure it is not going he is not falling out i open this door constantly it is perfect so no glue needed if that was something that you wanted to do 
and I'm just they're so cute I love them they look perfect on my doors right and how many deco meshes did I use one two three four the Nomi and then the wreath ring that's five no that's six right girl this wreath cost me $7.50 to make so $15 for two poofy very cute wreath so girl yes <laughs> let me get in here and show you what else I got going on patriotic it's not too much but I'm gonna show you anyway all right, I'm in the house now. Stars and Stripes on the other side of the door, right? Got that one. And America the Beautiful over here. So this is the string. This is what I meant. You know how you're able to hang it. So I wrapped this around the door hanger and then tucked, um, tucked the Nomi inside of the wreath and it's totally secure. So yes. So turning around, here's my welcome sign that I grabbed um, from Walmart. I feel like I get a lot of signs like this here for the different holidays. Oh, that's my ring. <laughs> Sydney up there singing her butt off. And right here, very simple. I got my Nomi's over here that I just grabbed right from the DT. Got the stars over here and the stripes over here. And these are the vases that I got from the Trashy Dollar Tree. I can't even call it Trashy anymore because they kind of stepped their game up, right? But I bought three. I feel like I'm competing with Sydney. She is singing her butt off. <laughs> so the flowers are obviously from the DT. They had like three different ones this year, but I like these. Um, so over here and then over here, right? There's a third vase. I forget where I put it. And then you hear her? I can't. <laughs> and then right here are the two welcome, well, welcome and home sweet home. I grab, you know, you stick the tea lights in here, get that little ambiance going, right? And, um, they came from the DT and then my Johanna Parker Bell, this is a set. The um, other piece is on the island, but I thought that that was cute there. And guess what? That's that's it, y'all. Like, so simple right here in this space. All right, so here we go on the kitchen island right here, you guys. Very simple. I just got this going on right here. This tray is a tray I got from Target Dollar Spot. Five, girl, it was on clearance grab for $2.50, right? This is the other piece, um, the bell. This is the second piece, the Johanna Parker mug. Ow! Wait a minute. Wait, let me finish first. <laughs> America the Beautiful. I think this is blue inside. Mm -hmm. So I got Mickey and Minnie front and center, right? And then Happy Fourth over here, that pretty red Ray Dunn going on, right? And then hold on. All right, let me take it to the back, right? So back here are the two. Ow! Oh. <laughs> it's right here. The third vase is right here, you guys, with the same flowers, right, going on. And I stuck the two Nomi's back here. You remember I grabbed these from Target Dollar Spot. It was three of them. The third one is, I think it has blue and white stripes or something. I don't even know where it is. I got to find it. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd stick them two back there. Nice and simple. Girl, I had to go get my straws. I forgot all about them. I don't know what made me think of it. Now, usually, you know, when you drop them in, they kind of land like all cute and stuff. Mine is acting like they don't know what the, they don't know how to land right. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Girl. All right. The, all right. <laughs> leave it like that for now i'll mess with them probably throw some more in there i don't want to block minnie and mickey you know what i'm saying but i wanted the straws in there girl so i'm gonna let it do what it do i'm gonna go y'all don't forget to subscribe to the channel for me if you loving my content my crazy ass all right i'll see you you hear kara now she laughing <laughs> you hear her she's funny all right you guys bye